Hi there, I'm Jen Ferguson with Artistic Painting Studio and today I'm going to show you guys some tips and tricks on how to apply our foil adhesive using a brayer. So come join me. Okay guys, you know I'm always trying to look for uh, new ways that we can work with our foil adhesive and tips and tricks to um, create some of the best application possible. So I've been playing around um, with our wonderful Artsyville embellishments foil adhesive and coming up with some recipes that if you're looking for a smoother finish or even maybe to create some unique texture, um, how you can do this. So I have put some of our foil adhesive and a little container here and what I'm adding to this is just regular H2O okay regular water using a mist spray bottle and just spraying some in there so I'm adding about maybe up to three to four percent and then we're also going to add another product called Floetrol Floetrol is meant to help improve the flow and leveling of products. So we're going to add about the same amount of this product as well, which again, you know, maybe three, four percent. And this should give us a better mixture, okay, if we're looking for the foil adhesive to go on as smooth as we can. Now there's times where I want to roll it on and I want that texture and I want to brush it on and I'm looking for more um, movement in my brush strokes and I'm okay with that. But there are times where I really would like uh, it to be a little bit thinner and be able to control my, my application a little bit better. So we're going to take this mixture and we are going to roll it on as well as we're going to brush it on. Okay, so I'm using a low nap uh, roller. Um, always try to find like a quarter inch nap. And I'm just gonna put some of my mixture on my plate so I can load it onto the roller. And I mean, I can already feel that this stuff is thinner to work with, okay? So I'm just gonna roll on a section of my board and when I am rolling I have some videos on this technique but you definitely want to take the time to roll back and forth a couple of times and even as you're rolling you want to get to where you're rolling only in one direction and smoothing it out to where a point where you're just barely barely touching the surface and you normally can smooth it down a little bit better but I was playing around um, with this brayer. A uh, brayer is just a plastic or a rubber um, roller that's completely smooth and seeing if I can get um, the rolled on even to smooth out more, okay? Now, if you've got a lot of product on there, I'm actually gonna roll my brayer onto my paper here to offload some of that and roll through it again because as I do that I can start to smooth this down more and more. And again you're going to want to just roll in one direction okay once you get it on here and I'm just using some pressure really working it to level it out and smooth it out as much as I can. Okay, now that's definitely removing some of the foil adhesive because you can see it's not as milky white anymore. And then as you're working with as you're working with the brayer, make sure you've got some wet wipes around because you can easily take one of these, wipe that brayer clean in between your applications so that you're not getting your brayer perfect staying sticky okay so I would recommend that you're washing that off the other thing that we're gonna try here is just brushing it on and if you're familiar with our foil adhesive um, you will definitely feel that it is a lot different 
after adding the water and the flow trawl to it. Um, it's making it, I want to say a little bit thinner, but it's just gliding on, okay, where you don't feel like it's getting sticky on you or you're having to really work to get a nice smooth brush stroke. So once I do put it on, I always try to come back and smooth out my brush strokes the best I can uh, because if they don't completely level out, okay, um, and I'm not going to say that they're going to, but with the flow trawl, we should definitely have better leveling. But the more neat you are with your application, okay, uh, the better chance you're going to have of seeing very minimal or any uh, brush strokes, okay? So definitely, you can just slop it on like I am right now, okay? And then come back and work through those brush strokes, trying to go from end to end if you can, and get them as straight as possible. Because uh, I can already tell that they have flowed out a little bit on this side. And that was the first section that I did. So I'm going to leave my middle section as is. But I'm going to take the brayer again. And I'm going to come over here and do the end of this. Now, with this amount of product on here, the brayer is basically creating a texture, which I discovered was really cool. So we're just going to leave this texture that the brayer is creating. I'm just trying to get it all to come down the same way and hopefully eliminate as many lines as I can in there. So I'm just going to clean up this section here. We'll leave it as brush stroke because the cool thing is not only are we going to have different applications of how we put it on. So this was rolled on and when you're rolling it on it always goes on a little bit thinner but I used the brayer to thin it down as thin as I could so we've got probably the smoothest application. And then here just leaving our brush strokes but they're flowing out a little bit smoother than they would if we didn't have the water and the flow trawl. And then creating this really fun unique texture. So we're going to let this dry up and then I'll come back and transfer the foils and you'll be amazed at how even the foils will look different over the different ways that the adhesive has been applied. Okay, our foil adhesive is completely dried and I definitely gave it several hours to dry. As you can see, we do have a little bit of texture that you can see here on the camera where my left thumb is. We definitely have a really cool texture from the brayer. The middle section, we still have a little bit of brush stroke, but smoother than usual. And then when I put it on thinner and really laid it out flat with the brayer, we have a completely different look, okay? So with these different applications of even thinning down the adhesive and applying it in different ways, uh, the really super cool thing is our transfers also look a little different. So I'm going to use a couple of different foils here just so that you can see. I'm going to give them a good scrub, getting them to transfer over to the surface. And you should be able to even see how all these different textures have come through, okay? Well, get it up here. So you can even see that the foil looks a little different on this one, okay? This is the one that, that tends to create the most different look because the foils look, I'm trying to think of the best word for it, they just have a completely different look, okay? They're not gonna be as super bright and shiny, they're gonna be just a little bit of a lower shimmer. And this one is gonna have a great texture, okay? So once you feel that you have transferred as well as you can, and I'm gonna slowly peel back um, but you can see in the reveal, our brayer um, definitely creates the most different look, okay? Now here, because we have so much texture, I am going to scrub again and uh, see if we can get a little bit better coverage through that texture. But I think it's so cool if you're looking for more of a shimmery look, okay, and not as bright and shiny, the brayer is going to give that to you. Um, I feel that transferring over the hand brush 
is giving probably the shiniest look of all of them. And then our one on the end is definitely going to give us more texture and our finish. So if you're looking to kind of play with the texture of your transfer and get some different looks, definitely try this trick. We're going to go ahead and do one more foil. This one here transfers to a little bit lower of a sheen to begin with. So it'd be interesting to see how this is going to look as well. But it's fun to be able to change the look of the foil a little bit with the way we are applying our adhesive and altering the look of the transfer. Okay, we're going to have to give this one a really good scrub. So when you're using the brayer and you're thinning it down as much as I did, we definitely have the least amount of product on there. So you're probably going to have to scrub a little bit more over the brayer transfer versus just using regular brush stroke or using the brayer with the excess texture. But they're all transferring well. Like I said, I always normally do a double scrub anyway, that once I lift the foil back and lay it back down, it allows it to get scrubbed into the lower areas. Just make sure that you don't completely remove the carrier sheet and you'll have the opportunity to do that. So hopefully you can see the difference in the sheens and the texture that we've created and just another way that you can play with your adhesive and your foils. So thank you so much for joining me. Hey friends, thank you so much for joining me for this fun tutorial on learning new ways to play with our foil adhesive and foils. For a complete list of all materials and supplies, just head to the description below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our upcoming tutorials and definitely give us a like. Thank you guys.